Today we will be going through the bulk load and the live load capabilities of dgraph as well as as an export to a json format. So let's get started first with the bulk load. For the bulk, bulk load we are going to take a uh, 1 million rdf file which is available as part of our uh, dgraph tour. So if you go to the link there you can retrieve the 1 million rdf.gz file which is a data set about movies right and then we also have along with this uh, data set we have the schema which you see on the right hand side so this schema defines the movies the directors the performances and so on so this has also been downloaded uh, locally and we will be using both these files for the bulk load Please take a note of the location of the 1 million RDF GZ file at our GitHub repository. So let's look at our directory. So we've got the 1 million RDF.gz file, we've got dgraph, we've got dgraph rattle, and the schema and the schema gz file. So let's start the um, bulk loop. The bulk load is typically used to load data into a fresh dgraph environment. So what we will be first doing is starting at dgraph 0. Zero has now been started. With zero running, we can now issue the bulk command. The dgraph bulk with the minus F switch to point to the file and the minus S switch to point to the schema where the files are all in a gzip format. Looks like the bulk has started, the bulk load has started and the bulk load has finished. So we are now good. The data will be actually loaded or written it into a out folder inside the out folder you will find a p directory this p directory contains the bulk loaded data and will be used by the alpha so we will copy this p directory and we will paste it in the same location where our dgraph is running perfect right now we are in shape to start the dgraph alpha so we will issue the dgraph alpha command the p directory is already locally available so now dgraph alpha is able to read all the predicates so data is now loaded with this we are now ready to query so we, we have rattle running So when we log on to Rattle and we fire a query where we are looking for movies with the name Homes in it, so we've got a bunch of movies already available from the dataset. So this confirms to us that the data has been loaded correctly. Using Rattle, we can go to the schema section and check the schema that has been loaded by the bulk load. So here are the predicates that have been loaded and here are the types from the movie dataset. So that concludes uh, the first part of this exercise that is loading bulk data into dgraph. There is another fast data loading option which is called the live load which we will look into next. In situations where you already have a cluster running, the live load is the preferred option while when you are starting out a fresh cluster, the bulk load is the preferred option. So let's assume that we want to do a live load so what we will first be doing is actually removing the data that we've loaded so far then adding some more data manually and then doing the load of the same file again to demonstrate that live load doesn't kill all the existing data rather adds to it so first we'll go to a schema and drop all the data so with this command the data is dropped Please note that the schema has not been dropped. When we query now, we should not find anything. 
right so we are good now let's add a recently released movie to this data set so enola homes is a recently uh, released movie for which we will fire a mutation the act main actor's name has been specified and the character as well all right now we will run this mutation and we can see that this movie has now been added to the data set when we query we are able to find this particular movie now we will do a live load So in order to do the live load, we issue the dgraph live command and again we are using the same file that we originally used. Please note that the schema has not been dropped from the server. So we are not passing a schema file with the live load command. The live load is not going to wipe out the data which we just manually added. Rather it's going to add more data to the dgraph server. Alright, looks like the live load is nearing completion. It's done. Right. So now if we go back and query in Rattle, we should be able to find the original data set plus the data we recently added. So here's the same query again and you could see a bunch of Sherlock Holmes related content and you could also see the Enola Holmes data. Great. looks like the live loader has worked that concludes live loading now so far you have seen the data formats being in RDF the the last part of this exercise we will use the export command to write into a JSON format this will help customers take the data out of dgraph and if required move it to an external system or it could be used to load data back into dgraph. The JSON format is open, it's not proprietary and you could read it easy. So here's the command, we fire the export mutation to localhost admin. So this is the alpha. We can specify a RDF or a JSON format. We are going with JSON. All right. We can go and check the dgraph alpha logs now. It looks like the command has been issued, the export is ongoing and now it's done. So if you want to go and have a look at the data, you could just go back to your folder where the dgraph has been running and go into the export folder. So inside the export, you will find a new folder and you could see the JSON file there. We're just going to extract it. Now we will go back and check the contents of the file. So if we go into the folder where the JSON file was created, now we could explore the JSON which has been exported. And if we search here, we will find the data that we just added. It's in an open JSON format, so you can use it for any other purposes. That concludes the demo. Thank you.